Uh, Pastor, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off. Gotta go to work. Oh, thanks, Johnny. Hey, Johnny, you wanna drink? Well, uh, I don't drink anymore. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Oh, uh, Jesus saved me. Hey, Pastor, somewhere in the Bible, God prayed and turned water into wine. Yeah, He did. Well, can you turn this water to wine? No, I cannot. But the Bible does say that Jesus will give you living water. I don't want living water. I want wine. I want a drink. I want some of the living water. Well, the Bible says when you come to Jesus, he will give you living water. Here, listen. Jesus, come to me. I will give you rest. Uh, London, can you help me with this? Can't you see I'm doing something? Do you ever think about getting a left behind? All the time. But I'm more worried about you. Mind me, I'm not going to get left behind. Only God knows that. How do we make sure? Well, the Bible tells us to live holy lives. And as students, we have to be faithful to our schoolwork. And we need to honor our elders, like your sister. I see. Love you, London. I love me too. <laughs> I don't want my mom to see what we're doing here. Isn't she dating that weird guy with the ponytail? I don't know. Hmm. But they did go to church together. I think he likes her. Really? She might like him too, actually. She's crazy. I can't wait till I turn 18. You only have a few more months. You know she's making me go to church? Parents are so annoying. Yeah. Tell me about it. Can you do another one? <sighs> okay, but this is the last one. Okay. Oh, I know this one. Do you really? Yeah, it's David watching his sheep while blowing his horn. <clears throat> that answer is so like you. Sorry, Daddy, that was wrong. London, you had it? Go ahead. Jericho's walls falling down? Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> that was my second guess. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. All right, your turn, Violet. Okay. We need to be aware of our surrounding, what's going on in this world. It's important for us not to get distracted. Sometimes I worry about getting left behind. Not me. Let's all open our Bibles to Matthew, chapter 24, verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. What will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will deceive many. 
I am the Christ. I, I am the Christ. He's the Christ. He's the Christ. No way. No way. But as the days of Noah were, so too will the coming of the Son of Man be. Foolish Noah. He's working on that boat again. Yeah, I forgot to drink with us, but he said it was going to flood. I forgot to do judgments with rain. Rain? What is rain? And did not know until the flood came and took them all away. So also will the coming of the Son of Man be. You see, Jesus is coming. It's important for us not to be distracted. We need to be ready. What's your name? Jessica. Hey, Jessica, it's nice to have you here. I don't really want to be here. I understand. But regardless, do you think you could take your foot off the chair? You know I don't have to listen to you, right? You're right. You don't. But you did. Thank you. You know, smoking is not good for you, right? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. You should really take that cigarette out. You may not go to hell for smoking, but you certainly smell like it. Not here, not here. Whatever test the Lord brings in our lives, we need to overcome it. There are bigger things at play. So, the new girl? Jessica? Yeah. What a... She's kind of different. I think she just does it for attention. <laughs> if I acted that way, uh, I'd get a lot of attention. Just not the kind I'm looking for. <laughs> I think it's more than just that, you know? What are you thinking? I don't know. I'm gonna have to do some more investigating. Come on, come on. What's wrong with you? Man, my body's starting to feel old. What'd you say, young man? My body's starting to feel old. You're way too young to be talking like that. I think I'm just out of shape. Homeschool, a lot of time to study. One bad thing is no PE class. I exercise enough. <laughs> That's my voice. <sighs> so you've been looking sad lately, bud. What's up? Well, I've been thinking about the end times recently. What about it? Are you worried? Uh, what do you see in me? What do you think I have to change? Hello? Hi. Um, I'm sorry to bother you. I tried calling Pastor's phone, but there was no answer. Um, Pastor's not here right now. I'm Violet, his wife. Is there anything I can do to help you? I'm a new member of the church. My name is Annie. Uh, could you ask Pastor to please pray for my daughter? Her name is Sandy. I'll let him know. We'll pray for Sandy. She's so rebellious. She's only 15, and she's stealing my car and driving at night. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll let him know. We'll pray for her. Thank you. You have a lot of good qualities. That's not what I was talking about. Well, these are the last days. God wants us all to be holy and pure. Am I holy and pure? Do you think you're holy and pure? I think I'm pure sometimes. Dinner's ready.
Hello? Where is everybody? Why only sometimes? You think I'm gonna get left behind because of that? Revelations chapter three, verse five says that heaven is for overcomers. How do I overcome? Well, we all need to overcome ourselves, firstly. So first, I need to overcome myself. Then I need to overcome my sister, London. Well, that's a start, I guess. But more importantly, Danny, God doesn't want us to live in fear of being left behind or fear of anything. When, when the bridegroom was coming, waiting for the groom, it was a time of excitement, not fear. You get it? I think I understand. I can't believe you went to church. Not by choice. You don't have to listen to your mom, you know. It's not that easy. She's something else. Well, you'll be 18 soon. You can't wait. Hey, I'm pretty good. How's mine? Super cute. The baby's moving. No. Oh. Well, this is really sweet. Thank you. Sweet like London. Where did that come from? Well, you're gonna be seeing a new Danny from now on. Jesus changed him. Mm, a new Danny, huh? Sounds wonderful. Hello? Hi, Pastor. I'm sorry to bother you. Hey, uh, how can I help you? My daughter's acting really weird. Uh, Jessica? No, 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 not Jessica. Her younger sister, Tammy. Can you come over? Yeah, um, sure. I can. All right. Bye. That's a pastor. What's he doing here? <laughs> I don't know. Come on, let's go. Don't go. But I just don't want to live. <laughs> That's the pastor. So you really have changed? Yes, I did. Let me test you. The Bible says not to test people. The Bible says not to test God. Well, the same thing. You're not God. Thank you for teaching me. You are not alone. That's not true. You belong to God. Then why do I feel so alone? You're never alone. If he's real, then why do I feel so hopeless? Isaiah 43, verse 1 says, Fear not, you are redeemed. I have called you by your name. You are mine. I just want to die. That's the devil. God, he wants you to live a long and healthy life so you can serve him. But the devil, he wants to destroy you. Why does Jesus even care? John, chapter 10. Verse 10 says, The thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come to give life, and that you may have it more abundantly. Here. You read it right here. Verse 10. The, the thief does not come except to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and they may have it more abundantly. I just want to die. Again, that's Satan. He knows that God has a mighty plan in your life and he wants to use you to save souls and to touch lives. People who are in similar situations. Satan knows that you can help people like that. So he wants to destroy you. 
let God have a chance to heal you. You really have changed. I am a man of my word. What? I am a man of my word. Pastor, can you pray over her? Can I? Can I? Father God, we lift up Tammy here. I cast out the spirit of suicide right now in the name of Jesus. Spirit of depression, go in Jesus' name. Can't believe he's still here. I kind of want to go inside and see what's going on. Trust me, you don't. That pastor will tell it like it is. I don't want to smoke. I want to drink. I think we drank it all. I should go get some more. <laughs> Good luck. You're underage. Look at that loser. Look at him over there. You won't. Look at him. You won't. You won't. <laughs> Look at him. What a loser. Look at him. <laughs> How do you feel? A little better, I guess. Just give it time. I feel like some of those heavy and dark thoughts were just lifted off of me. Praise the Lamb. Jesus loves you. Tim. He wants you to live a long and healthy life, okay? And he wants you to finish school. <laughs> oh, yeah? He wants you to keep this Bible, all right? Read a few chapters every day. I think five's a good number. How'd it go? It's good. Do you need any water or food? No, I'm good, thank you. I have a new member from church call. Her name was Annie. She was asking for a prayer for her daughter. What's her daughter's name? Sandy. She said she's very rebellious. Father God, we lift up Sandy, Lord God. Your will be done in her life, Lord God. We ask that you save her and you change her. You know you can't drive legally. You don't even have a license yet. I'll be home before midnight. Just stay where you are right now, and I'll come get you. No, thank you. You know I like to drive by myself. Do you want me to call the police? Oh my gosh. She hung up on me. Hey, Jesus loves you guys. Hey. Jesus loves you. Hey, Jesus loves you. Hey, slow down. I can get you some more if you want. I'll go. What's wrong? I'm holding this have no place to go. What's your name? Andrew. Do you like living on the streets? No. Would you like a place to stay? Yes, I'm scared to live on the streets. We can help you out, okay? It's gonna be all right. Let me give you a place to stay. Come on. Hey. Hey, Pastor, can I talk to you? Sure, come on in. Well, I was just wondering if, uh, is it possible I could help with the homeless ministry? Of course. That's great. We could always use some more hands. Great. Great. You know, now that I'm thinking about it, 
they do need a bigger place to stay. Well, I'm a good worker. Uh, just remember, if you need anything, I'm, I'm here for you. Thank you. Might take you up on that. Might, we might want to expand our living situation, so. I mean, well, whatever you need. I mean, I'm good. I'm handy. Okay. Parker, I just want to tell you, you have a beautiful family. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. And I noticed you guys have been coming more and more on time, and <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, you, we're trying to take it step by step, you know, just trying to be more serious about this. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Pastor, we have a new guy playing with us today. Oh, really? Who is it? Andrew. Where's Andrew at? He's I don't right there. Oh. Hey, I hardly recognize you. You look good. Thank you, Pastor. Wow. Uh, just remember, this is your home. You don't ever need to sleep on the streets again. We're going to take care of you. I like it here. Tabitha gave me a haircut and shaved me. Oh, she did? Looks good. She needs to get me, too. I, I think I'm getting a little shaggy. Feel it. Come on. How old are you, Andrew? I'm 18. Really? You look so old before, but... You look your age now. I'm glad to see you're healthy. It's not right what mom's doing to us. Like what? Making us go to church. So what do you think of the pastor? Uh, he's crazy. Last Sunday, he made me put my feet down. So you listened? Not really. Yeah, whatever. I'm such a poser, I know. Come on, come on, come on. You ready? We're gonna be late. All right. Come on, kid. Let's go. Let's go without you. I don't know why he mad. I gotta look good for Jesus. Where will you be when God calls you? Will you be ready? Will you be asleep? How can you hear God calling you when you're asleep? God has called no. an entire nation, this world. But so many of us were unaware. Are you listening? We need to open our ears to hear and our eyes to see. Let's all open our Bibles to 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 through 52. And it says, Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye... Hey man, where's your mark? last trumpet for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised and incorruptible hey, attention. and we shall be changed. You see, after we're caught up in the air, we're going to have a seven year wedding feast with Jesus. And it's going to be a celebration, a time of joy. But this earth will be going through tribulation. You cannot steal my car and go driving around all night. Is that why you're making me go to church? It's better than juvenile detention. I'd rather go to juvie than church. You do not know what you're talking about. The church is full of hypocrites. It can't change me. You're right. The church cannot change you, but Jesus can. Oh my gosh. Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. 
but that is only for a season. God is moving. Healing. Does anyone here have a pain in their back? God wants to heal you. Please come forward for prayer. If there's anyone out there. Wonderful. hurts. I have scoliosis. I was born with it, but the pain started again last night, and it just seems to be getting worse. Do you believe that Jesus can heal you? I don't know, but my back really hurts, and I need help. Isaiah 53 verse 5 says that you're healed by Jesus stripes. Let's all stretch out our hands. Lord God, we ask for a miraculous healing. And Jessica's back here, Lord God. Touch her, Lord God, heal her. Your will be done in her. Use this as a moment to show your power, Lord. You are a healing God, Jesus. We ask for mercy. We ask for healing. Touch Jessica, Lord God. By your stripes, we are healed. You will not believe what my mom is making me do. She's making me go to church. Walking. No, I'll call my mom to pick me up eventually. Wait, really? That sounds so much better. Yeah, bye. Why do you look so happy? What do you feel? Is it different? It feels normal, like straight. I got healed. How? When Pastor prayed for me, there was this pop. And Jesus healed me. Stop lying. I'm not lying, Tammy. I'm not. Hey! Young Ah uh, told us that you would be here ministering to the homeless today. Oh, I see. Well, I have a praise report. What is it? Well, yesterday when you were praying over Jessica's scoliosis. Is, is everything okay? She's great. Her spine is straight again. God is good. I thank God. Jesus really loves my family. Praise him. Mm -hmm. Can I help you serve the homeless today? Of course, that'd be... That'd be wonderful. We can always use more hands. Yeah, let me take this one. Uh, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah. You got it? Yeah. Hi, Danny. How are you like your no job? I just quit. Oh, no. I need to talk to Pastor. Oh, he's at the park. Should have went there first. Jesus loves you. Oh, thank you. Gracias. 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 Do you, do you think the pastor can give me a soda water? Please. 
Let me ask Pastor Joe and see if he has any, okay? Sure. Pastor Joe, she wants to know if you have any soda. Soda? Uh, no, I don't think we do. Tell her maybe next time. Give her this. He said he can bring some next time, but not today. Hey, can I talk to you? Sure thing. I quit my job. You quit or you got fired? I quit. Let me guess, you told somebody that Jesus loves them and that he was coming back soon. How'd you know? So do you go to church? No, no, uh-uh. Because all they want is my money and I have no money. So. When was the last time you went to church? The last time? About four, five years ago. I can't remember. So why did you stop going? I just told you why. They want my money, and I have no money. I'm sorry. It's just, well, we went to church yesterday, mm -hmm. and they didn't ask us for any money. Mm -hmm. They didn't? <laughs> What's so funny? Are you making fun of me? Oh. Can I pray for you? Do you want to pray for me? Mm -hmm. okay. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. That's how you lost your last job, Johnny. Exactly. Your boss told you to stop preaching about Jesus at work, and you got angry. And I told him if, if he didn't repent that he'd, you know, go to hell. Did you say that to them in love? No, I, I kind of screamed it. My attitude's been wrong through this whole thing. Whenever you preach out the gospel, you have to do it in love. Maybe I can go back and ask my boss if I can wash his feet or something. That wouldn't fix the problem. You think you can pray for me? Of course, Johnny. <laughs> you didn't really eat tonight. I think I had too much junk food today. You gotta eat some more good protein. Too much protein is bad for you. Everything in moderation, I suppose. I hope mom gets better soon. Pregnancy is a journey. It's kind of funny. Her kids are homeschooled, but she teaches at a public school. Maybe she might not be going back. I can't wait for the baby. You want another brother, don't you? No, I want a sister. Well, that's fair. Only time will tell. It's in God's hands. So now you believe in Jesus? Yeah, I do. Well, I'm still not sure about all this, but why? Well, I mean, I just found out that no one loves me the way Jesus loves me. No one died for me the way Jesus died for me because of his love. So now you believe that Jesus loves you more than mom loves you? That's a different kind of love, Tammy. Besides, I like to feed the homeless. Well, if you really believe in Jesus, why don't you go clean your side of the bedroom? Maybe eventually. What's Jessica's sister's name? Tammy. Is she okay? She always looks depressed. That's why she needs Jesus. Oh, hey, come in. 
Why did you skip school today? You know how much I hate school. Well, yeah. But you still shouldn't skip school. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Are you sure? You used to hate school too. Well, I guess I'm different now. Don't do that either. Hey, you should come to church with me on Sunday. You're joking, right? No, I'm not joking. Church? Yeah. We'll see. I hope so. So many of us, we're trying to be in charge of our own lives. When are we gonna let that pride and that anger go? When are we gonna let Jesus take the reins? Let him lead us. So I'll open our Bibles to Mark chapter one. Verse 17 and 18. And it says, then Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you become fishers of men. They immediately left their nets and followed him. Hey, don't tell me to follow Jesus. Huh? Shh, just listen. Who are you to tell me to be quiet? You're interrupting. I don't have to listen to this trash. Hey guys, this is trash. We don't have to listen to this. We don't have to listen to this. We don't have to listen to this. No, we don't. We don't have to listen to this. We don't have to be here. Yeah. Why are we here? In the name of Jesus. Stop! Every unclean spirit, let these children go in Jesus' name! You belong to Jesus. Satan, take your hands off these children right now in the name of Jesus. They belong to you. Every unclean spirit, go in the name of Jesus. Go! They belong to you. Peace, Jesus. You and the Lord in their lives. Satan, <laughs> let them go now. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I told you guys, Jesus is real. I just want to say thank you to Jesus. We've been doing drugs. We've been drinking. We flunk every test in school because we're never there. We need help. We need Jesus. I need Jesus. Let's all stretch out our hands, please. Repeat after me. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Forgive me. Forgive me. For all my sins. Wash me. Wash. With your blood. With your blood. I believe. I believe. That you died. And you rose again. Just again. Just again. In That's too much ice cream. Mom, you have to stop telling me how much I should eat. I'm not a little girl anymore. You look so angry. I'm praying for you. Your prayers aren't working, so maybe you should just stop wasting your time. Sandy, stop. I am not done talking to you. Too bad, because I'm done talking to you. Oh, 
There you go. Thank you. Not a problem. Henry, I'm really glad to see you here. Oh, no problem. I said I wanted to start helping out. I'll see you and your wife next time, right? Definitely. Yeah. Perfect. Bye-bye. Hey, Pastor, are you leaving? Yeah, what are you guys doing here? We just wanted to come help you feed the homeless. Oh, we're just packing up now. Uh, how'd you guys get here? Don't worry, we didn't steal our mom's car. <laughs> I believe you. Okay, well, we should be getting home now. Bye. See you guys. Thank you, God. <laughs>